Hey gang, it's just me, Ghetto Mama. But now I'm Trailer Park Mama. I moved from the ghetto to a, a trailer, but I'm not in a trailer park. It's on its own lot. And I thought I would just do a little mini mukbang. I've been so sore. My back is hurting and everything. From all this move, it's been terrible. So tonight, I have a ham sandwich. Well, that's what's left of it. It's on wheat bread and ham from the deli and some Miracle Whip. Mm. Got to have something when you're hungry and you're too tired to cook. I'd break out the crock pots, but I don't want to do the dishes, okay? Anyway, this is my new room. Excuse the mess because I haven't got it organized yet, but I will show you what I can show you. There's my chair I was mukbang from. There's my TV. There's the kids' stuff. That crate there is something I'm going to throw away. There's the kids' toy. My towel from taking a shower is on there to dry. Those uh, things right there are the kids' clothes box and the box underneath pertains to the kid. That's what they call the butt station, that thing that's got the diapers in. There's my desk with my bear family. Yes, I have a bear family. I need to arrange those. And this is my bed where one day the magic will happen when the honey comes home. Mm -hmm. That'd be better than a ham sandwich. Anyway, never mind me. Never mind me. And here's my tip of two twos. He's always begging. Mm. I don't live in Reno anymore. I live in Sun Valley. And if you Google Sun Valley, it's the biggest trailer park in the United States of ex felons. Yeah. Oh, the jailbirds live up here. It's nice, though. A lot of, like, I don't know, country people up here. I haven't met anybody m mean or bad yet. Uh, yet. But I don't get to know my neighbors. You know me. I have the ghetto mentality. The less I know about you, the better. And then nobody can blame me for anything. If they get in trouble, they'll say, oh, you know, that ghetto mama she told on me. So that's why I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Don't want to know. I just want to keep my shit in my house. The way it is. Hmm. I think I'm going to share. Doggy mukbang. Wow, he didn't even chew it. That's what he did. And my beverage is... Diet Mountain Dew in my 7-Eleven cup. Mm. Hey, guess what? My refrigerator has an ice maker and a water machine on it. I feel blessed. <laughs> because I can go through a bunch of ice. I love ice. I love ice water. Oh, my wolf lamp in my room. There's my wolf lamp. And there's my windows. My room is the biggest part of this mobile home. It's like almost a quarter of it. And there's my bathroom. I should show you my bathroom. So hold on. Let's go in and I'll show you my bathroom. I got a big shower. I share my bathroom with my um, younger son because he's a germaphobic. There's Googie's cage, a little gray dog. That's the cat box for Buddy. That's my son's stuff. He just took a shower. And there's uh, the sink and stuff. This is my sink. This is his sink. Look at those big closets. Ooh, really big. All that storage too under the sink. Oh, there's the ammo mukbang station. This big old shower. Yep, and there's the toity. I'll show you my cupboard too, my, my walk-in closet. 
Oh, Googie's getting mad. This is my walk-in closet. There's not much I can do in here. This is all my stuff. And that's my young son's stuff. Not much I can do with that stuff. I've been throwing, you know, I had a little 1,228 square foot three bedroom house down in the ghetto. I've been throwing so much stuff away. I swear to God, I've thrown like probably a pickup truck bed full of stuff away. Seriously. Yeah, here's my bear family. I have to rearrange my uh, stuff in here, organize it better. But yeah, this is my room. And I'll probably do mukbangs for my room because it's quiet. I will show you the rest of the house. The rest of the house is looking pretty good too, but I don't have any living room furniture right now. And I don't want to go to the rent-a-center and rent anything because bed bugs. I don't want to have, excuse me, I don't want to go to the thrift store. Oh, I got hiccups. Must have ate that sandwich too fast. Must have ate it like tippy. Anyway, I don't want to go to the thrift store because they have bed bugs too. And I don't want to bring bed bugs in here, so I want to buy brand new. I don't know what I'm going to get yet because budget is small. So, but anyway, I'm going to get brand new stuff. Even if I get futons, not the cheap ass futons with the metal frame, but you know, like the ones that are more like a sofa, sofa, you know, like a truck seat or something. You know what I mean? It's built in, um, built in cushions. That's probably what I'm gonna get if I can't afford anything else. Cause Walmart has them on sale for like 200. Well, I can get two of these for like 240, and I can doctor them all up with pretty. Um, throws and stuff wouldn't that be great so yeah so i wind up probably doing that just out of necessity to get furniture till i can save and get some real furniture but you know it's okay it's all good rome wasn't built in a day or ghetto trailer mama's house wasn't furnished in a day or put together in a day either i've been at this like for a week well, a little bit more than a week but that's the progress and I had to clean up the ghetto before I left to make sure everything that was, you know, up to par down there, too. So that was like a lot of cleaning. My back has been totally out. It's like, oh, too much pain. But anyway, just want to stop in and say hi. Sorry for the little short quarter of a sandwich mukbang. But we'll be getting banging on some real good food real soon, okay? Even if it's McDonald's. I'll come back and see y'all. Okay, hope you're having a great day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are, and having a good meal, good snack, whatever, and lots of love and God in your life. Okay, I will see you next mukbang if you choose to come back.